Hey folks, Dr. Mike Isretel here for Renaissance Periodization. Let me ask you a question. Do you like the finer things in life? Cars, expensive clothes that tell other people that, gee, you know, you really are an important person that has money. Exotic animals that you can have as pets. They're dangerous, but don't worry, you're rich enough to hire people to take care of that part for you. Drinks, crystal, champagne, pasta, spaghetti steak and shrimp. That's literally a, a line from a fabulous rap song back in the day, which dates me incredibly. Why am I telling you about all these things? Because if you simply drop your moral compass and shill for big diet soda, like I'm about to, you can have all these things. Guys, they literally send me millions of dollars in paychecks per week so that I make videos like this. Videos like what, Dr. Mike? Ha, I'm glad you asked. Let's begin the actual video. So, this is titled Switching to Diet Soda. And I'm saying that it's one of the few real fat loss hacks. I can't believe I'm saying that. There are real diet hacks? Turns out, yes. So the vast majority of hacks you see on various podcasts and uh, CD YouTube areas and advertised to you for supplement companies, stuff like that, they're not actually hacks. A hack is a very specific thing. A hack is technically defined as a way to modify the behavior of a system in a way that it was not intended when built to elicit a more desirable outcome for that hacker. Right? So you can be a hacker yourself if you switch to diet soda. I promise that's actually a real thing. So what's the system here? Well, your body has a system that drives it to consume tasty, sugary things like soda because the system is designed to infer that tasty, sugary things bring in calories. And in our ancestral evolutionary environment from which we are all descended, that was a very reliable thing. Now, the reality is that artificial sweeteners are really a hack because they give you that very similar, almost the same sweet sensation, especially if something like diet soda tastes almost exactly like regular soda, but it gives you that without any of the calories, right? So it actually is a hack in the technical sense. A lot of other, you know, diet hacks are just strategies, like hack your metabolism with one meal a day. Like, your body wasn't supposed to eat five meals and the one meal hacks it. It's just another way of eating. This really is a hack. And what does it get us? Well, in study after study, people only switching from regular soda to diet soda lose mounds of weight. Do you guys know that candy bar, Mounds? Who the fuck ever buys that shit's nasty? I know some of you will get in the comments and say I'm wrong, and maybe I am. But in any case, diet soda, just the switch, is one of the easiest things in the world because your body sort of still feels like it's getting the sugar and the diet soda tastes great. But if you just take like three regular cans or bottles of Coca-Cola Classic and replace them with Coke Zero, let's say you just have three cans of Coke or bottles of Coke throughout the day, that is in excess of 500 calories that if replaced by Coke Zero is simply gone from your diet. And if you change nothing else, which you often won't, you can lose a pound per week for many, many weeks ahead. And I'm sure you have stories of your own or friends or family and relatives that have lost a ton of weight, either starting with or only switching out diet drinks or sorry, regular drinks and putting in diet drinks. It's a thing that works really, really well. Now, there is something to say about, so, and, and yes, I am advocating for this. I think it's a very good idea for almost everyone. The transition can be a little bit rough. First of all, no, diet soda has basically no downsides to regular soda in this context. It's much better for your health. Yes, the carbonation, et cetera, is still not great for your teeth. Yes, some people don't respond. A tiny fraction of people get weird and they get headaches on some artificial sweeteners, and that's totally understandable. There are exceptions. But for almost everyone, it's something that tastes almost exactly the same, but carries like zero of the effects on your body weight. Okay? Diet soda does not boost your insulin levels or anything like that. It doesn't make you rebound hungry for more sugar. Those are also so it doesn't boost anyone, any human's insulin. And some people get rebound hunger, but they get the same thing from regular Coke too. So it's all much better if you have diet versus regular Coke. Because if you get regular, uh, you, you drink a diet Coke and it's like, oh man, now they got that sweet taste. I want some food. For most people, it doesn't work like that. But for the ones that it does, you can at least have something healthier as far as food that you crave. You can have so, some veggies or some fruit or something. 
as opposed to just having actual sugar in your soda that itself that you drink. So you can make it better, much, much better of a result, even if you still feel like you need to eat a little bit extra. Okay. Much better for your health. For some people, they already drink a combination of regular soda and diet soda, and they're absolutely not interested um, in switching. Uh, or sorry, uh, for some people, when they have a combination of regular soda and diet soda, they can tell the difference in tastes, but they're okay with it because they have regular, sometimes they have diet. Some people have regular soda and they have no interest in switching at all. And here's how you do that. First of all, you do it cold turkey. You just take all of your regular sodas, you finish them or pour them down the drain or whatever, feed them to the birds. I'm not entirely sure how birds would consume soda. Might kill them. Just kidding. Good experiment to find out. What you do is cold turkey. You just get rid of all your regular sodas or stop buying them. Start buying diet sodas for... A few weeks, the taste will be off for some people. It will. The first couple of days, especially, you're like, this is bullshit. This doesn't take like regular, it doesn't taste like regular Coke. I don't give a shit what anyone says. It's wrong. But here's the thing you get used to it. And after a few weeks, at most, it starts to taste pretty good again. And it starts to taste pretty normal. And you can sometimes barely remember what regular tasted like. If you go back to regular, which you shouldn't because it's a pointless fucking drink for almost everyone who wants to control their body weight, then you'll be like, oh, wow, it does really taste different. Sometimes. Sometimes you're like, oh, this actually, the regular stuff tastes like super like thick and weird. It's like if you get used to drinking skim milk, going back to whole milk, you're like, am I, is there globs of snot in this? Holy shit. Is this milk weigh like as much as uranium? Like that's too much for me. That being said, there are exceptions to that rule. Coke Zero, I have to say, and uh, I think uh, Pepsi has a uh, equivalent product, are unbelievable. Sucro sucralose is just a, a godlike artificial sweetener. Coke Zero really does sometimes taste like the real thing. We're damn close. And this is from people who really like real Coke, hate Diet Coke. They tried Coke Zero and they're like, oh, wow, okay, this is legit. This is a big difference. So not only is there this weird transitional period for two weeks potentially in which after which you – Everything tastes pretty good as far as diet stuff. But sometimes if you switch to something like Coke Zero, that transitional period might be like one meal of you drinking a Coke and be like, oh, that's a little different. It's pretty good. Next meal, like, yeah, it's a Coke, whatever, right? And after that transition period, it's not like you're like, oh, man, years ago I used to drink regular Sprite. Now I drink diet Sprite. I just hate it. I just miss my regular Sprite so much. Almost no one has that sensation. And almost everyone that says, I love regular Coke, I don't like diet, they said that they had uh, a time when they had diet Coke and then they went back. They just have regular and at a party they had diet once back and so they hated it. If you commit yourself for a few weeks, it's all down the drain after that. You're, you're not going to remember in vivid detail how that should taste. And at the very least, you're not going to crave it anymore. And if you crave it anymore, which is incredibly unlikely, gee whiz, you know, diet's so close, it's not really that big of a deal. Here's the thing. Give it some thought. Give it a shot. Just take out all of your regular soda, replace it with diet, and it's going to make you healthier and leaner and all that good stuff. It's also better for your teeth because it's sans sugar. And if you're around friends and family that drink regular soda, if they ask you about it, you know, you don't want to be that dick that's like, hey, man, everyone's not fit, only me. If they ask you about it, feel free to be like, hey, you're like, yeah, I uh, drink diet. I think there's no good reason outside of very small exceptions to drink regular soda in the modern capitalist world because we don't need soda to prop up our calorie levels. We need the opposite, fewer calories. And diet soda is unbelievably safe, has zero calories, and tastes after two weeks especially damn near like the real thing. Give it some thought. And if you have unbelievably unique snowflake opinions on why everything I said is wrong, please post them in the comments. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and uh, if you are walking around, uh, you know, in a in a, a downtown where there's like a Coca-Cola headquarters or sub headquarters or something, and a man in a suit walks out, and you know, he works for Coke and he looks at you with his hat, make sure to hat tip him and say, hey, keep up the uh, money for Dr. Mike. He does need more expensive cars, clothes, jewelry, and whatever it is people buy with money. See you guys next time.